what to buy used and what to buy brand new when building a gaming PC. That's one of the most asked questions and it's actually one of the hardest ones to answer. But in this video, I'll try to cover all the nuances and to tell you guys exactly what you should do if you're building a new PC and you're considering buying some used components to save some money. So welcome back at the Muslim PC Use. Now, first of all, some people just don't want used parts and that's perfectly fine. Some people also watch videos on YouTube like mine and they see me getting some insanely good deals on all the used gaming PCs and they think going all used is the best thing they can do. And that's not the case. Very often buying brand new components, at least a few, is the best thing to do. If you see my budget bills, even the best ones which I do for 300 bucks for a 1080p 240Hz gaming PC, I still have one or two brand new components in it which do make my life a lot easier. When should you go? fully used or should you ever. I just said it's pretty much never the case, but if you are able to buy a fully used game PC on the used market, and if you're able to properly validate the state in which it is, and if the person seems trustworthy, and that's a lot of ifs, but if you're able to do that, then you're basically able to get a ready game PC for a good price. However, the best priced ones always have one or two things missing. Maybe they have too little storage. Maybe they don't have an adequate cooling. And I think if you're buying a PC like that, the components which you're gonna be slotting in to make it perfect should be brand new. For example, let's say you bought a perfect game PC with a Ryzen 7 9700X and an RTX 5060 Ti used, for example. You got it for a lot cheaper than you would have, but it's on the stock cooler, so the 8-core Ryzen is overheating. Well, just buy a 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 240 meters water cooler like the one I recommend on the channel and buy it brand new. Don't waste money on used water cooler which maybe doesn't have the proper mounting kits and stuff. Let's say you're building piece by piece your computer from zero. Here's what I think of every single component in no particular order. So let's start. CPU. CPUs are basically indestructible and as long as they boot, they generally work. If they can boot with dual channel RAM, they will always work. No surprises there. So they're very easy to test and they're very difficult to get scammed on. So you can definitely buy a used CPU. It's actually where you can get some of the best value for money out there. However, in some places in the world, it's very tricky to buy uh, used ones for good pricing. In that case, maybe buy something on AliExpress or look for deals brand new. Always consider how your local market actually is. You don't have to buy used just because it's $10 cheaper. Make sure it's worth the difference. But generally, for CPUs, it's always worth it to go used if you're after saving money. Motherboards. On motherboards, you can save a lot. They're probably the component with the biggest delta percentage-wise in what you can save, not in absolute value. The absolute value uh, maximum delta is going to be on the GPU. But the problem with motherboards is they are actually pretty tricky to fully test out if you're buying them used. So if you're able to buy them online with a service which offers you some kind of seven-day warranty to test them out, then definitely buy them used to save money. But nowadays, motherboards are so cheap on AliExpress. I review a lot on the channel. So if you're buying LGA 1700 motherboards, or if you're buying LGA 1200, or if you're buying AM4, AM5, you can probably buy a very cheap one on AliExpress, which is going to be a lot cheaper than buying a name brand one, and they're going to be just as good. So that's a good option. If you're able to test them out properly, I would say you can buy them used. But if you're not able to test them out properly, Trust me on this one, don't buy them used. RAM. RAM you can always buy used. It's very easy to test for good RAM, and they are also supposed to have lifetime warranty, theoretically. Nowadays, especially with RAM prices being a bit high, I think it's a good time to buy some used RAM, because usually with RAM, the problem is people don't sell it for cheap enough. So it's definitely worth it to buy used, but you can never find it for cheap enough. So in the past, I used to just buy it brand new because for 10 bucks, I could avoid the hours that go into actually sourcing a good used kit. But nowadays, I would definitely buy some used RAM. Water coolers or coolers in general. Well, actually, let's separate them. Air coolers, sure, you can always buy them used. Just make sure you have all the mounting equipment. And making sure you have all, all the mounting equipment uh, may be tricky because you have to decide which socket you're building on and you may be left without the mounting kit for another socket that has happened to me in the past. So limiting your options in the future. Overall, it's pretty easy to assess how good an air cooler is. So you can definitely buy. Water coolers, 
Be sure to test them out, hear how the pump sounds, check out they haven't been opened before or tampered with, make sure all the fans are working fine, and then also make sure uh, that you have all the mounting mechanisms, which generally are a bit trickier to see. I find, again, for the price they are sold at, generally these you can probably buy brand new, unless you're on a very tight budget, in which case you can still buy them used, but they're one of the things which I don't really recommend too much, together with the motherboards. SSDs. So SSDs, for the longest time, they haven't really been that much cheaper used. So I would say just buy them brand new. But as usual, if you're looking for something specific, like a four terabyte drive, and you can find it for a very good price, then definitely go ahead and buy the used, but uh, check the hours. Nowadays, it's very easy. You just open up hardware monitor and check the hours in the NVMe or the SATA SSD, and just make sure they're not too overused um, because SSDs have a lifespan. They have a certain capacity of gigabytes they can write and read, and after that, they're gonna break, on average, of course. I wouldn't really buy them used, but if the price is good enough, you can do it if they have the right hours. Hard disks, guys, it's 2025, nearly 2026. Please don't buy an hard disk, come on. You can get high capacity storage somewhere else. And definitely don't buy one used. Please, guys, come on. Graphics cards, this is a big one, okay? So I buy a lot of GPU used. Um, buying a used GPU properly, it's tricky. You need to test for fan noise power delivery, rust, artifacting, performance under light load, performance under high load, uh, the G-Sync if it's working, all the ports, it is tricky, okay? It's a lot of work, but the price difference is so much that it's worth it. So if you're after saving money, buying a used GPU is gonna be 100% worth it. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you go through the checklist. Make sure you really test it out properly. Maybe I'll do a video about how to test out used GPUs properly, it takes a while. Cases, don't buy them used, unless you're getting a bundle, why? Because brand new cases are so cheap nowadays, you can get a decent one for 50 bucks. So as usual, there are exceptions. So if you want a specific case, expensive one, and uh, you find it cheap for a good price, sure, you can buy it. But I will tell you why I wouldn't really buy a used case. Well, in the case, you usually get all the mounting stuff to put your other components in, and those are usually missing if the case has been mounted before. The case is the outside shell of your computer. It's what you see the most, and it's also what can get scratched or damaged the most. It's also what you usually get the most wear because the other components are just inside. People also sometimes just, they damage the points where you attach the hardware. By putting the screws in, they tend to damage stuff or they bend it a little bit. I've, I've seen it all. I wouldn't really buy a used case unless, again, I was after something very specific. Nowadays, cases are very competitive. Same for only ones, and it's also why I think the price difference is not worth it. Power supplies. Power supplies is a very controversial one. I actually think you should buy a used one, but only if you're buying a higher-end model. I think on the cheap end, I would rather buy a cheap but not terrible brand new PSU uh, instead of going out and buying a cheap good PSU, but I don't really know what it has been used for. Also, it has fans in it, and if, for example, uh, the guy has a dirty, dusty environment, you end up with a lot of uh, debris in your PSU, which doesn't really make a good smell. That's also a problem with the only one and also with GPUs. But I find the PSU, they tend to smell the worst. So I wouldn't really buy them used unless you're going after like a 1000 watt 80 plus gold unit, which generally is where you can buy with the best deals possible. So with that, I think I covered it all. But I want to hear what you guys think, as usual. Do you agree or do you disagree with me? You guys are great, and you always give me good insights. So please drop a comment down below. I want this channel to be a little community. And maybe drop a like and a follow so you can help me with the channel as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.